FL Studio Mobile is a complete music production studio on your mobile device. This tutorial will take you through the basics of creating your first song from scratch. Tap the Home button. On the Songs tab, tap New and select an empty template. Choose a tempo and a time signature. Tap on the existing song name to choose your own. Tap OK. This is the playlist, where you will arrange your song from individual clips you create. Tap the Add Channel button and choose Drums. Select a drum template. This is the drum sequencer. The lanes correspond to different drum sounds. You can also play the drums from the pads below. Tap to add or remove steps in the drum sequencer. Press play to hear your beat. Drag the handle to reveal the graph editor. Here you can edit velocity, panning, pitch, and repeat value. Tap the lane header to reveal the drum properties. Here you can adjust the different levels of the drums and many other parameters like time stretching or the volume envelope. Tap the X icon to close the drum sequencer. You are now back in the playlist. Tap a clip to select it. Drag the handle to extend and repeat the drum sequence. Tap the left arrow icon to open the rack. This holds instruments or effects for the selected playlist track. Tap the plus icon to add an effect. Let's select a compressor to add more punch to the drums. Tap here to choose a preset for this effect or tweak settings yourself to exactly what you need. Tap the Add Channel button again, and now let's choose an instrument for the bass line. Pick a category folder, then tap to select and preview different instrument presets. Tap the X icon, or to the right, to close the preset selector. This is the piano roll. It will play instruments in the currently selected playlist track. Tap to add notes. Tap a note again to select options such as delete. Tap and drag the background to move your view. Let's create a bass line. Drag the note handle to change the note length. The length of a new note will be the same as the last note you tapped. You can zoom by pinching on the time ruler at the top of the piano roll. Here is our bass line. Let's add more rhythm to it with different note lengths. Long tap and drag to select multiple notes. Drag to move the selection. Tap the X icon to close the piano roll. Next, let's add a new instrument for the melody. This time, let's record it live. Tap record, then press play, or simply start tapping notes in the keyboard below. Tap a clip to bring up more options. 
double tap the clip to enter its piano roll. Here are the notes we just recorded. Again, let's zoom by pinching on the time ruler at the top. Long tap and drag to select notes. Tap snap to quantize the notes to the grid. Tap the playlist track header to view mixing options. Let's change the level and solo the instrument. Next, let's add some special effect sounds as audio clips, starting with a crash cymbal. Let's add a new effect to that audio clip track. Tap an empty space to choose a new audio clip to add to the track. You can adjust the properties of the selected audio clip below. Let's reverse it and drag it into place. We can also zoom in the playlist by pinching on the time ruler at the top. Long tap and drag to select clips. Drag the handle to extend and repeat the clips. Let's select the audio clips and copy them. Long tap in empty space and select paste. Let's add a filter effect to the drums. Adjust the frequency parameter as the song plays. We can automatically adjust the frequency over time with automation. Tap the menu here and select Add Automation Track. This will create an automation track for the last parameter we adjusted. This is the automation editor. Again, let's zoom by pinching on the time ruler at the top. Tap to add points in the automation. Tap one again for options such as Delete. Let's create an automation change. Now the frequency parameter is automated in the playlist. OK, time to save our project. Tap the Home button. On the Songs tab, tap Save, or drag it to the left to quick save. If you are looking for new sounds, you can go to the Shop tab. Tap the Preview button in the list below to hear demos of the sounds you can buy. To change an existing instrument on a playlist track, select it and open its rack. Tap the Instruments Options menu, then Replace, and choose your new instrument. We could choose a sound we bought earlier in the shop, for example. We can use the master track to add mastering effects to our whole song. Select the master track at the top of the playlist and open its rack. Let's add a limiter effect to finalize our song and make sure it does not clip. Back in the songs tab, tap the save button to export your song to different formats. Let's choose WAV format with default settings. We hope you found this basic start tutorial useful. Visit the ImageLine YouTube channel for more advanced techniques such as audio recording.